Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xcentaur here and welcome back to another video. Now I hope all of you are doing well because I am as always and in this video we'll be discussing this upcoming Infinite Flight future updates where currently on the Infinite Flight community people are bashing it out to see what aircraft is going to be in the next rework. Now many of you may know my most recent video did involve talking about the A380 which may possibly come in in the next Infinite Flight rework. Um, so hopefully if we go onto here or if it you know ever loads in for flight being typical here um it doesn't look like it exists on here um so there is currently a vote um because there were five possible or six possible aircrafts for the rework um, and it did come down to a vote and there has been a change of plans now so like i said if there was no clear majority infinite flight would come down to a round two vote now this is obviously about the next rework, which should be coming to Infinite Flight very, very shortly. Well, no, um, probably in about a year, let's be honest. Um, however, um, it did come down to so the results of the first poll. Were f in the last place was a new aircraft, the A340. Um, if I show older versions, there we go. So we were going to get another A340, but only 6% of people wanted that, um, which is a little bit sad because that's only about 210 people or something out of the total that voted. Um, there is also an option for the 747-400 rework, um, so it's the one I guessed right, um, and that only got 15% of the votes, the 787 then only got 16% of the votes, um, and then the 767 got 22% of the votes, so that's uh, the low aircraft here, with the A380 getting 41% of the votes. Now let's be honest, if you ask me, I think that's a clear majority, um, but the way the Americans do it, I think is they need 50%, and I believe this is run by the um americans this voting stage i feel like infant flight need a, st a two-step voting stage where you vote for your top two options uh, it comes down to that i feel like it'd be much more efficient than having to do two lots of voting rounds um however the a380 is currently in the lead so we'll have a look at the a380 um and what we're to expect in an a380 rework so hopefully nothing too precious now i can see the votes currently going up live right now we're on about 500 votes already um, so I'd imagine it'd be about 800 votes already by the time I even get this video out. And you can see here we're in an A380 at London Heathrow Airport um, in decent graphics to be fair for infinite flight. And you can just tell by looking at this cockpit, cockpit there is need of a live cockpit. Now this aircraft definitely needs a full rework. Um, it doesn't need one as much as the 767 I'll be completely honest with you. Um, like it's an alright aircraft and it's a bit of a meme at the moment. I think it's a cute looking aircraft and I think it looks really good. Now you can tell here from the exterior paint job, or hopefully you guys can see, hopefully the screen doesn't look too weird today, um, because I'm on my phone like I said, but um, the exterior looks fine realistically. Um, I mean, yeah, sure, it's got, oh, um, I bet the aircraft spawn turned on. Yeah, of course it has, oh, of course it has. Now I'm going to try and join everything now. Um, were they attached now? There we go. So I'm trying to uh, attach everything. And there are no working doors, of course, as you can tell from here. None of the cargo doors open. But of course, with a full rework, that would happen. We would finally have working cargo doors. An interior cabin, maybe, for bits of the A380. Maybe an upstairs and a downstairs cabin. Now, that would be crazy. Something unprecedented, not known before in Infinite Flight. And we'd also get, you know, that working interior cockpit. Now, this is if I'm right. I could very well be wrong. Now, the next aircraft was the 767. Now, I think the Delta, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the, um, I will, I will have to use Qantas. Um, so, the 767 is the aircraft in infant flight, which needs a rework the most. And I'll be completely honest with you, the 22% of people that voted it are probably thinking the smartest. I mean, I definitely wasn't going with the A340. Um, I didn't think it would win anyway, but I just thought it'd be cool to see it in the mobile flight simulator. Uh, but you can tell here just by looking at it here that the you know the 767 itself and uh, from the exterior point of view it maybe looks a little bit better than the a 3 d we just looked that much but maybe that's just because of the paint colors but you can tell here there is no cobbing uh, oh cobbing cockpit feature so unfortunately when i zoom in there is no cockpit feature um so we're gonna have to just zoom in here um and just do that so you can just see here yeah, this, this aircraft needs a rework a whole lot more um, than one of the other aircraft in for flight. Like, it is in need of a rework. Um, and then we go back here, and it's a typical void. So the same as the A380, but I feel like the cockpit here 
definitely needs a rework a whole lot more than the A380. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I know everyone wants, wow, cool, a new reworked A380. But in reality, the 767 does need a rework quite a lot. Now, I know for a fact I'd fly the A380 more, so it's going to be a tough choice. Um, but because, personally, I believe that the most of the community uh, will indeed be voting for the um, A380, I feel like I'm going to give the 767 a little chance now. This one again has spawned a vengeance on. You can tell how often I use my phone because the engines always are on spawn. So I haven't even changed the default settings. Um, but yeah, you can just tell that I feel like the A380 will win. But the 767 definitely deserves a chance. So one of these two aircraft will be the next to be reworked. After of course we get the Challenger 350, whatever it's called. Um, I had no idea that was get coming. And then of course the E190, which quite a lot of people have asked for. So uh, where is it? All the way down here after that little thing gets reworked. Now, of course, we do have the E175, so I'm thinking the E190 won't take much longer now. Um, and, yeah. So, all in all, guys, just go to the info fight community. I'll leave a little um, link in the description like I did in the previous video for you to go and vote. And decide what aircraft you'd like let next in Infinite Flight. Is it the 767 or the A380? Other than that, please do enjoy. Good night. Can you leave?